Do you know what a magnet is? A magnet is a magnetic object that has north and south poles, and like poles attract, and like poles repel. Do you know that Earth is a giant magnet and that it has a magnetic field around it? No, not like that. That's better. Can you imagine its consequences in our daily life? How could you measure the Earth's magnetic field's magnitude? Well, obviously not with a rule. Let's try and guess how. In this experiment, we will compute the magnitude of the magnetic field in the Basque Country as we answered the previous questions. As a consequence of the magnetic field of Earth, humans could invent useful devices. We will now look at, the, at how the simplest one of those devices works, the compass. A compass is a device based in magnet's behavior, which consists of a magnet that always points the north. The north pole of the magnet points the geographic north. To understand why this happens, it is important to look at our planet's magnetic properties. As we already mentioned, the Earth is a magnet. It has the north magnetic pole in the geographic south and the south magnetic pole in the geographic north. The magnetic field lines come out from the north magnetic pole and emerge in the south one. That's why our planet's magnetic field points from geographic south to north. It is also important to mention that magnets respond to the strongest magnetic field around them. If we approach a magnet to a compass, it will no more face north. In the 19th century, Oersted, a famous Danish physicist, observed that moving charges also create magnetic fields. This was a very meaningful discovery that affirmed many superstitions brought about in the last decades. While simulating the experiments he used to discover that fact, we will measure the Earth's magnetic field's magnitude. We start by placing a wire facing north flat in a surface and then we place a compass above it. As we can see for the moment, when the wire does not have any current, there's no effect on the compass. Then we make some current pass through the cable. Surprise! The compass needle has deviated. Why has this happened? Moving charges on the wire induce a magnetic field. The induced field's direction follows the right hand rule. The sum of vectors of the induced magnetic field and Earth's magnetic field create a new magnetic field. This new field is the strongest one around the compass. That's why the compass needle aligns with this magnetic field. To compute the amplitude of the induced magnetic field in the case of an infinite stride current carrying wire, we use Ampere's law. We measure the angle described by the compass needle. Then, from trigonometry, we can say that the tangent of the angle is the following one. Finally, we solve for the magnitude of the magnetic field of Earth. 